Hi, welcome to my third episode of Code with Elias series. This episode will be the second part of my first episode, which was about how you can create a video programmatically using FMPEG. So in this episode, I will be talking about how you can create video programmatically using other tool that is built on top of FMPEG. So let's get started. <music> The first tool that I will be talking about it's MoviePy. From the name, it's a Python library that will help you with creating and editing a video using Python. An important note about MoviePy, it's currently not well maintained and there's over 300 open issues in GitHub as time of recording this video. So let's go back to the screen and I will show you how you can create your first video programmatically using MoviePy. So welcome back and let's create a video using MoviePy. So this is the GitHub repo for MoviePy. So the first thing that we need to do is I will create a new project. So like make a new directory and call it MoviePy demo. So let's install MoviePy. Make sure that you already have like a Python install. So I'm using Python 3 for this tutorial and let's open it in VS Code. I will create a new, I will call it index.python.pi. So after creating the index.python file, I made a quick demo video that's to showcase what you can do with MoviePy. We will import like the MoviePy editor and we will set like the width and the height of the video as a variable and same for duration. And I will create a new color clip that will be as a background for my video and we will set the duration to be the full duration of the video. Also I will have a new clip with the value which is like a hello world and we will set like a, some parameter like a font size, color and font family and stuff. And also we will set the position to be like a center and make the set the duration to be the same as the video duration and composite the video clip with the template which is like a, the color clip and the text and after that we will set the output path to be output.mp4 and just write it so let's run this again so it's currently building our video and writing the video to output.mp4 so as you can see here we have like a simple video with like a white background and text Hello world. So this is our first video created using MoviePy. So I made a project for a quick video like a travel vlog Instagram story. So let's go there. So this is the product. It's similar to the one before. So we import all like a MoviePy editor stuff. Import also some utility function like a the crop function. And here we have like a, the same thing. So we define the width and the height duration also. We have like a new clip same stuff we have like a new text clip which is like a dust a text and we will add some clip to the video to make it more dynamic so i made a function to make it reusable across all three different clips so what the function does is create a new video clip from the path that we set trim the video for five seconds get the width and the height from the clip size attributes and we will crop the width to be able to be the same as the aspect ratio for instagram which is 916 and we just like return the clip. So this is what we do. So we will create like a three different variable clip one, clip two, and clip three. And also I will add some footer to add info that is this video is made using MoviePy. And I add some fading effect to it. After that, I will concatenate all the video clip that we add, like a clip one, clip two, and clip three. And I add some cross fading transition with like a two second delay to make it more dynamic and after that i will compose the final video clip with the template that we said before which is like a, the color clip with the text and all the video that we just concatenate and i add the future text to the composition and after that just writing it to the file system and the frame rate will be like a 30 frame per second so let's run this one as you can see here we are building the video currently and writing it so the video has been done so as you can see here 
from the template of the video we have like a the text which is the same as the hello world and we have like a some video example with like a cross fade in effect as you can see here so that's it for movie pie and let's move on to the next tool the second tool that i will be talking about it's remotion remotion it's a javascript tool that use react.js for video composition and node.js for video rendering so let's go back to the screen and i will show you how you can create your first video programmatically using remotion if you already know react.js i think remotion will be one of the best tools that you can use to be able to create video programmatically and i will show you how so as you can see here we have like a some this is like a the the api and uh, let's first of all create a video from scratch So let's make it like a, for example, remotion code with Elias test. I will choose like a Tailwind test as with TypeScript template and you can choose wherever template you would like to have. Just because I love Tailwind, that's why I picked this one. So remotion use React.js for the video composition. So the installation has been done. Let's open it using VS Code. So I will give you an idea about how Remotion does work. So let's go to road.tsx. This is where all the composition will be done. So the first thing is like a, we have like a wrapper around like a, the composition component. So we need to set like an ID and the component. The component will be a React component. That's where we can have our composition for the video. And Remotion use like a frame instead of like a duration in second. So for example, so we need, you can just like make it like this to make it easier for you to be able to understand. It's like a, for example, this one is like a four second video, but you need to convert it to frame to be able to use it in remotion. And also you can set the frame rate, the width and the height of the composition. These are all like a required option that you need to set to be able to render a video so in the composition what we have we have like a set of react component that we can use for example this is a logo and this is a title or subtitle it's like a just using tailwind CSS as that you can use to be able to create a video which is really good so let's go to our remotion product and let's build this video first and I will show you what this video looks like. So it's currently bundling the, the code and rendering the frame. So we have the code. So this is the video. As you can see here, it's just a simple video. And one of the things that you can do with Remotion, which is great. So you can preview your video. So it's like a on this comment it's like a npm run star which will give you a browser editor that you can use to be able to view the timeline of the video and also one of the things that you can you can expect the element for example you can expect inspect this one and change some stuff for example let's go here orange red so you can just like a play around in the browser before like a rendering in the final video. So I already like I made a project for the remotion same as the one for MoviePie. I will show you the code for this one and after that I will show you the final video. So let's start for the composition. Made 50 second video with a frame rate default one and I changed the weight and the height to the video resolution for an Instagram story and in my composition I made some title which is like a travel vlog which is the same as the one for movie pie and I made some sequence of clips or video and as you can see here this is a sequence it's like a, a component provided by Remotion and the clip it's a custom component that I made and just like I take up absolute feel so absolute fill is just like a component that will give you like a hundred percent of the height and the width. And this is a component from Remotion that you can 
add you can just like a provide the static path for this one so i provide so let's go to composition i provide the path and you need to create a new folder which is public and you can put your static file there and i add some trim value which is like an end add and i convert it to frame because remotion doesn't accept second it only accept frame currently at least and we have like a future text as you can see just like a, a react component that is written a div with video made using remotion to different this video from other video so this is for the composition so that's it let's render this video so i will render it using npm run build so it's currently done with rendering the video and let's see the video so it's currently simple so we have like a future text video made using the emotion to have like a travel vlog and also we have a series of travel vlog video with some fade in transition as you can see here so we add some transition to the video we just like a different opacity so it's currently using some hook from remotion which is using current frame and getting the duration of the video and just interpolate the opacity of the video just from the data that we have like a frame and duration in frame so that's it for emotion and let's move on to the next tool the third and the last tool that we have in this video it's edit frame api a quick disclaimer i am working at edit frame as a software engineer so i am building feature for developer to create their video programmatic so let's go back to the screen and i will show you how you can create your first video programmatically using edit frame api so welcome back so here we are with our last tool which is edit frame so a quick disclaimer so currently edit frame is have a private access so you need to request an invite to get to edit frame and also you can just fill up this form to get your credential and to get your account set up with it frame and also you can mention in a note that you are coming from my youtube channel so we can have some priority there so that's it for a quick introduction about edit frame and let's get started so i will create a new product for a demo of edit frame as i did with other tool and i will need to install our sdk which is edit frame sdk it's currently a node.js sdk to be able to create and generate video config for the video so let's make a screen as index so and let's create a function which is render video And we need to create a new composition so let's first of all set the new composition will be edit frame dot new dot video dot new and it will take a couple of item like the background color so let's make it white duration of the video let's have it like a 15 and the dimension so let's have it full HD dimension so after that let's check our doc for each layer type and let's start with composition text and let's make a hello world let's make the color black and let's run composition dot encode sync and let's make this function async and let's call it and let's run it so it's currently uploading the asset and encoding the video So that's it so we got a response from our api that the video has been encoded and this is the video so i already like i made a product for the sake of this video 
so let's go to our products so this is the project as you can see it's similar things so we have auth 3d sdk so we can create new composition and i add some text also i add some video it's like a video clips and set it some size to be able to fit the new composition height and also some position and also i set the timeline so the video will be in the exact time that i set i add some fade in transition and that's it so let's run this product so it's currently uploading the video configuration and the asset so that's it so we have the video has been encoded in one minute 30 seconds and you are working on the speed improvement so that's it for this video i would like to get your feedback about this video and also if you have some idea for the next episode video you can just leave it in the comment section and i would be more than happy to answer it and implement it in the next episode and thank you so much for watching